Yeah, we try not to read when we don't have to, Fitzgibbon. Instead, we like to go to the movies. And as luck would have it, there's one opening next week that you are going to want to check out. It's called Dread 3D, and Carl Urban plays Judge Dread. Carl, great to see you. Thanks for coming in, hey, my friend. Great to be here. Uh, saw the movie yesterday, and one word comes to mind, and that word is violent. This yeah. is violent. It's a graphic movie, but it's a fun movie. It's, and it's funny. It's got a lot of humor in it. And a lot of violence, too. This is the still Sylvester Stallone movie from 20 years ago, but this is not the Sylvester Stallone movie from 20 years ago. This is much more to what the story originally was. This is a film for big kids. That's for sure. Not a film for kids. It's a film for big kids. I think it's an antidote to a lot of the superhero movies that have come out over the past year or so. The 3D is interesting in this because 3D is always a tricky thing to work with and to view and is it gimmicky, is it not? In this case, like think 300 for example, but with 3D. The head explodes, but the head explodes coming right at you. And it's the use of slow motion with the 3D, I think, is tremendously effective in this. Oh, it's incredible. We were very blessed. We had Oscar-winning DP Anthony Dodd Mantle shoot this. And, and he does things in 3D in this film that have never been done before. And uh, it's well worth seeing in 3D. It, it is visually a feast. I always like to give our viewers, like, okay, these are the movies that come to mind when I see this. The best I can think to describe Dread 3D is RoboCop meets Grand Theft Auto. Does that make sense? I would say RoboCop meets Die Hard meets Training Day meets Dirty Harry 2. <laughs> and all the, the hardcore elements of those things. There you go. Uh, did you know right off you wanted to play this or did you hesitate, especially considering Stallone had done this 20 years ago. You know what? I was a fan reading of the, reading the comics when I was a kid, and I just I just leapt at the opportunity. You know, and I really liked the fact that you know through the course of the film, you never see my face. Dreads, yeah, let's Dreads, talk about that. He's an enigma, you know, and, and there's a mystery about him. And he's you know he's a tough cop, uh, but he's got a great dry sense of humor. It kind of reminds me a bit of you know early Sean Connery or or Clint Eastwood or even Schwarzenegger. He was doing that too. But on the other hand, like. The old original uh, Invisible Man with Claude Rains, he apparently was so ticked that you didn't see his face that at the very end they had to show his face to sort of appease him. At any point was there a discussion of, well, maybe in the beginning you'll have the thing off and then you'll put it on? Did that ever come up? Absolutely not. No, this was the this is the only way to do. So you're that. like the anti pretty boy then in Hollywood, because how many actors would say I don't want my face shown in the entire movie? <laughs> I mean, that is a credit to you. That's hard to find. Yeah. Well, that's the character, you know. If you know Dread, I think it's like uh, getting to the end of a Clint Eastwood, Sergio Leone western, and going, you know what? I had such a fun time in this. I didn't even know the guy's name. Same thing. Uh, movie doesn't come out for another week, but I'm looking yeah. online at reviews. It opened number one in England this week. Yeah. The reviews are just lavishing yeah. praise on the movie and on you yeah. to the point where I'm like what's going on here because usually you don't see the hardcores are waiting to jump on this and say no this is yeah. terrible they're not doing it here they're not and, it, and what's really interesting is that mainstream reviewers are loving this film everybody is loving this film and it's it's the underground sleeper hit of the year it's an instant cult classic it's well worth checking out they should put you on the, the poster <laughs> Carl Irvin says the underground sleeper hit of the year yes I'm in it but still <laughs> but it is it's running wild it uh, let's talk about pedigrees for a second because yeah. few people have sat in that chair with the pedigree that you've had we're talking Star Trek, we're talking Bourne movies, yeah. uh, we're talking Lord of the Rings. I mean, you have been busy, and you have been busy in humongously hits, humongous hits. Yeah, yeah, I've been very blessed. I've been, I've been played with some, uh, some big cats, yeah. Which is a fun thing to do, I would imagine. It's great. I enjoy it. You know, there are certain points in your career where you, 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 you can't believe they're actually letting you do what they're letting you do. One of them was doing a reverse 180 in, in the streets of Moscow on the Bourne Supremacy. The other was driving the, riding the Lawmaster bike through the streets of Cape Town in full dread uniform. That's a good job. It is a good job. Now, what, can, what do you recommend? Because I know you, I, Bourne is what rung for me, yeah. but for Shippy, it's Bones and Star Trek, of right. course. What, is there one that people get ask you about more than the other? You know what? It's, it's generally, well, it's Lord of the Rings, um, Bourne Supremacy, and, and Star Trek. Are you going to give me any insight into the Star Trek, too? I assume not. You've already had some issues with that, I know. No, no. I, uh, you know what? We had a fun time making it. It's going to come out May next year, and it's called Star Trek Into Darkness. I can't wait for that. Did you know that was going to be the title when you were shooting it, or did they just spring that on you? Uh, I did not know that when we were shooting it. Top secret, everything. Top with secret, that. I can't everything. wait for that one as well. In the meantime, Dread 3D is here. As you said, the sleeper hit of the year. Go so. check it out, September the 21st. Carl, great to meet you. Thank Continued you success, much. my friend. And Thank you. come on back for Star Trek 2. You're on. I'll take you up on that. I'm going to hold you to that, All my right. friend. We're